गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू सिविल अफेयर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यू पी पी एस सी प्रिलियम्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर हेयर वी विल डिस्कस यू पी पी एस सी स्पेशल दिस बुक इज प्रजेंटेड बाई पी डब्ल्यू ऑनली आई एस पी डब्ल्यू यू पी पी एस सी वाला एंड करेंट टॉपिक इज यू पी स्टेटिक जी के रिविजन बुकलेट हेयर वी विल डिस्कस मिडिवल हिस्ट्री ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश लेट इज बिगिन द टॉपिक ट्राई पार्टाइट स्ट्रगल फॉर कन्नौज इन द अर्ली मिडिवल पीरियड कन्नौज वॉज कंसिडर्ड अ सिम्बल ऑफ स्टेटस एंड अथॉरिटी कन्नौज वॉज द फॉर्मर कैपिटल ऑफ हर्षवर्धन एम्पायर एंड इट्स कंट्रोल रिप्रजेंटेड पॉलिटिकल डोमिनेंस ओवर नॉर्थ इंडिया द पालाज द प्रतिहाराज एंड द राष्ट्रकूटाज वर इन्वॉल्व इन द ट्राई पार्टाइट स्ट्रगल द पालाज रूल्ड इन द ईस्टर्न रीजन ऑफ द इंडिया बेंगाल रीजन द प्रतिहाराज रूल्ड इन द वेस्टर्न रीजन ऑफ इंडिया अवंती जालौर रीजन अवंती जालौर रीजन एंड द राजकूटाज रूल्ड इन द डेक्न रीजन ऑफ इंडिया द ट्राई पार्टाइट स्ट्रगल लास्टेड फॉर टू सेंचुरीज एंड वॉज फाइनली वॉन बाय द राजपूत प्रतिहारा एम्प्रर नाग भट्ट सेकेंड डेली सल्तनत कुतुबुद्दीन ऐबक इस्टेब्लिश द डेली सल्तनत इन ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स बारह सौ छः कुतुबुद्दीन ऐबक प्लान टू अटैक द गंगा यमुना दुआ इन इन एलेवन नाइन्टी टू ही कैप्चर्ड मेरठ एंड बरन मेरठ एंड बरन मॉडर्न बुलंदशहर फ्राम वेयर ही वुड लॉन्च अटैक्स अगेंस्ट द गढ़वाला किंगडम गढ़वाल किंगडम सुल्तान मोहम्मद घोरी रिटर्न टू इंडिया इन इलेवन नाइन्टी फोर ही क्रॉस द यमुना रिवर एंड कैप्चर्ड कोयल मॉडर्न अलीगढ़ फ्रॉम द दो राजपूत मोहम्मद घोरी रिटर्न टू इंडिया ओनली इन इलेवन नाइन्टी फोर क्रॉस डि द जमुना विथ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड हॉर्समैन एंड प्रोसीड टूवर्ड्स कन्नौज द बैटल ऑफ चंदावार द बैटल ऑफ चंदावर मॉडर्न चंदावाल नियर फिरोजाबाद वॉज फॉर्ट इन एलेवन नाइन्टी फोर बिटवीन मोहम्मद घोरी एंड जयचंद्र ऑफ द गढ़वाल डायनेस्टी जयचंद्र वॉज डिफेटेड एंड किल्ड बाई मोहम्मद घोरी मोहम्मद घोरी नाव वेंट टू बनारस एंड इन एलेवन नाइन्टी एट द गढ़वाल कैपिटल कन्नौज वॉज कैप्चर्ड द बुद्धिस्ट सिटी ऑफ सारनाथ वॉज ऑल्सो प्लंडर ड्यूरिंग दिस कैंपेन इन एलेवन नाइन्टी सेवन नाइन्टी एट ऐबक कंकर्ड बदायू इन प्रजेंट डे उत्तर प्रदेश एंड कैप्चर्ड वाराणसी द फॉर्मर कैपिटल ऑफ गढ़वाल विच हैड फॉलोन आउट ऑफ घुरीत कंट्रोल इन ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड टू ऐबक बीसीज्ड कालिंज लोकेटेड इन द बांदा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फोर्ट ऑफ द चंदेला किंगडम द डेली सल्तनत रूल्ड पार्ट्स ऑफ द उत्तर प्रदेश ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स टू फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ए डी द रीजन केम अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ मेजर डायनेस्टीज सच एज गुलाम डायनेस्टी द खिलजी डायनेस्टी तोगलक डायनेस्टी एंड लोधी डायनेस्टी स्लेव डायनेस्टी ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व नाइन्टी ए डी कुतुबुद्दीन ऐबक फाउंडेड द डेली सल्तनत एंड द गुलाम मामलूक डायनेस्टी इन ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स एंड मेड लाहौर हिज कैपिटल इल्तुतमिश इज कंसीडर्ड द रियल फाउंडर ऑफ द डेली सेल्फ नेट बिकॉज ही वॉज द फर्स्ट रूलर टू रूल डेली बिफोर बिकमिंग द सुल्तान ही वॉज द सूबेदार ऑफ बदायू अकॉर्डिंग टू मिनहाज इल्तुतमिश क्लेम्ड कंट्रोल ऑफ बदायू अवध बनारस एंड शिवालिक्स फ्राम डेली इन अ सीरीज ऑफ कैंपेन्स बदायूज जामा मस्जिद was built by iltutmish khilji dynasty 1290 to 1320 ad it was founded by jalaluddin firoz khilji jalaluddin appointed alauddin son in law of presiders jalaluddin as the new governor of kara located in koshambi district in 1291 after a profitable raid on Bilsa he was made the governor of Awadh in 1296 battle of amroha amroha is a up district situated 
in the west of Muradabad district. Amruha is in UP district, situated in the west of Muradabad district. The battle was fought between the Mongol army and Alauddin Khilji's army. After the Mongol invasion in 1205, Alauddin's strong cavalry under Malik Nayak defeated the Mongols in the battle. Tughlaq dynasty 1320-1414 AD Founded by Gayasuddin Tughlaq Ghiyasuddin Tughlaq Firoz Shah Tughlaq who succeeded Muhammad bin Tughlaq founded Jaunpur Firoz Shah Tughlaq built the city of Firozabad Firozabad served as a military outpost and a strategic base for the Tughlaq dynasty Firoz Shah Tughlaq established the Western Yamna Canal also known as the Taj Canal to improve agricultural productivity Sayyid dynasty 1414 to 1451 AD founded by Khijr Lodi dynasty 1451 to 1526 AD founded by Bahlol Lodi the most important event of Bahlol Lodi's reign was the con conquest of the Sharki dynasty of the Jaunpur Sultanate in 1486 he placed his eldest son Barbak on the throne of Jaunpur. In 1504, Agra was founded by Sultan Sikandar Lodi. He moved his capital from Delhi to Agra. He introduced Gaz A. Sikandari for measuring cultivating land. Gaz A. Sikandari for measuring cultivated land. Ibrahim Lodi ascended the throne of Agra after Sikandar Lodi and was defeated by Babar in 1526 at the First Battle of Panipat, Sarki Dynasty. It was founded by Malik Saravar Khwaja Jahan in 1394. He made Jaunpur his capital and established his rule from Itawa to Bengal and Vindhyachal to Nepal. Jaunpur was known as Siraj Hind during the reign of the Sarki Dynasty. Atala Masjid, Zama Masjid, and Lal Darwaza are famous monuments of the Sarki dynasty. Ibrahim Shah Sarki built Atala Masjid and Janjari Masjid of Jaunpur. Bahlol Lodi attacked the Sarki dynasty and conquered Jaunpur in 1479. Jaunpur was also conquered by the Mughal Emperor Akbar in 1559 and came under British rule in 1775. Architecture in Uttar Pradesh made during the Sultanate period. Architecture and associated ruler Jaunpur, Feroz Shah Tughlaq, Agra, Sikandar Lodi, Zama Masjid, Lal Darwaja Masjid, Atala Masjid and Janjari Masjid in Jaunpur, Sharki Dynasty, Zama Masjid in Badayu, Iltutmish. Mughal rule in Uttar Pradesh, Babar 1526-1530, Mughal rule in India was established after the victory of Babar against Ibrahim Lodi in the first battle of Panipat in 1526. He fought four decisive battles, the battle of Panipat 1526, battle of Khandwa 1527, battle of Chanderi 1528, battle of Ghagra 1529. Battle of Khanwa 1527 fought near Agra between Babur's Timurid army and Rana Sangha's Rajput army. Babur won this battle. After the war, the center of Mughal power became Agra instead of Kabul. Humayu 1530-40 and 1555-56. Humayu fought two battles with Sher Shah Suri. The Battle of Chausa 1539 and the Battle of Bilgram, Kannauj 1540. Battle of Kannauj or Bilgram 1540. Humayu's forces suffered a decisive defeat and Sher Shah took over the Rhine of Uttar Pradesh after defeating Humayu. However, Humayu later regrouped and, with the support of Safavid Empire, managed to recover his throne and re-established the Mughal Empire in 1555. Akbar 1556-1605, Sher Shah and his son Islam Shah ruled Uttar Pradesh from their capital Gwalior. After the death of Islam Shah Suri, Hemu became 
the de facto ruler of Uttar Pradesh, he was honored with Vikramaditya at his coronation, at his coronation at Purana Kila in Delhi. He who died in the Second Battle of Panipat, 1556, and Uttar Pradesh came under the rule of Emperor Akbar. Akbar was the son of Umayu and the third emperor of the Mughal dynasty. Akbar built Agra Fort. In 1569, Akbar conquered Kalinjal, located in the present-day Banda, after defeating ruler Ramchandra. Akbar ruled from Agra and its newly founded city Fatehpur, Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri was founded in 1571 by Emperor Akbar as the capital of the Mughal Empire serving in the rule serving in that rule from 1571 to 1585 when Akbar abandoned it due to a campaign in Punjab and was later completely abandoned in 1610. Akbar defeated Gujarat ruler Muzaffar Shah to commemorate this victory, he built Buland Darwaja at Fatehpur Sikri. Among the Navratnas of Akbar, Birbal and Todarmal were from Uttar Pradesh. Birbal belonged to Kalpi, where evidence of the Mughal mint and Birbal's Rag Mahal was found. The Mughal Emperor Akbar built his mausoleum at Sekandra, situated on the outskirts of Agra city later completed by Emperor Jahangir in 1613. Jahangir 1605 to 1627, Jahangir was the son of Akbar, he established Janjir-e-Adal, chain of justice, at Agra Ford for the seekers of royal justice. He also built the mausoleum of Akbar and the mausoleum of Maryam uz Jamani, Maryam uz Jamani. A notable example is the construction of the Zahangirabad Palace at Fatehpur Sikri in 1608. Captain William Hawkins came to Jahangir's court. Shah Jahan, 1628 to 1658. Shah Jahan was the third son of Jahangir. He participated in military campaigns against the Rajputs of Mewar and Lodhis of the Deccan. Rajput of Mewar and Lodi of Deccan. In 1631 32, he defeated the Portuguese and shifted his capital from Agra to Delhi. He built Taj Mahal at Agra in memory of his wife, Mumtaj Mahal, original name Arjumand Banu Begum. Arjumand Banu Begum. He also built the Moti Masjid in Agra Fort. Shaja was imprisoned by his son. Aurangzeb at Agra Fort from July 5, 1658 from July 1658 until his death in January 1666 until his death in January 1666 he was buried next to his wife in the Taj Mahal Aurangzeb 1658 to 1707 Aurangzeb was the sixth Mughal emperor in April 1658 Aurangzeb defeated Shikoh's allied forces and the Marwar kingdom at the battle of Dharmat. Aurangzeb's decisive victory at the battle of Samugad in May 1658 solidified his sovereignty. Architecture in Uttar Pradesh made during the Mughal period, architecture and associated ruler, Zama Masjid Sambhal and Babri Masjid Ayodhya Babur. Fatehpur Sikri, Agra Fort, Allahabad Fort, Jahagir Mahal in Agra, Buland Darwaja, Fatehpur Sikri, Birbal Mahal, Jodhabhai Mahal, Tomb of Sheikh Ali Chisti, Panch Mahal, and associated ruler is Akbar. Akbar made Fatehpur Sikri, Agra Fort, Allahabad Fort, Jahagir Mahal in Agra, Bulan Darwaja, Fatehpur Sikri, Birbal Mahal, Jodhabai Mahal, Tomb of Sheikh Ali Chisti, Panch Mahal. Tomb of Imtad Ud Dola, Imtad Ud Dola, Itmad Ud Dola in Agra, Nur Jahan. Tomb of Itmad Ud Dola in Agra by Nur Jahan. Tomb of Akbar, Maryam Ud Jamani, Tomb made by Jahangir, Taj Mahal and Moti Masjid in Agra, Shah Jahan. Modern History of Uttar Pradesh 
the disintegration of the Mughal Empire started after the death of Aurangzeb in 1707 due to the succession wars. The decline of the Mughal gave rise to the some independent states in Uttar Pradesh. The third battle of Panipat in 1761 and the battle of Buxar, the battle of Buxar in 1764 played a significant role in changing the ruling authorities in northern India. The Battle of Buxar, the British East India, led by Hector Mundo, defeated the combined army of Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II, Nawab of Awadh, Shuja Uddala, and the Nawab of Bengal, Mir Qasim. As a result of the battle, the British East India Company gained control over Bengal, Bihar, and parts of Uttar Pradesh. Treaty of Allahabad Following the battle, the Treaty of Allahabad was signed in 1765 between the Britishers and the defeated Indian powers. Robert Clive made two important treaties at Allahabad in 1765, one with the Nawab of the Awad and the other with the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II. Nawab Suza Uddala agreed to surrender Allahabad and Kara to Emperor Shah Alam II. The company was paid 50 lakhs as war indemnity. Give full possession to give full possession of his property to the Zamidar of Banaras, Balwant Singh. Shalam II agreed to the following: reside in Allahabad under the protection of the company, issuing a farman to give the Diwani of Bengal, Bihar, and Odisha to the East India Company in return for an annual payment of 26 lakh rupees, provision of 53 lakh rupees to the company in lieu of the Nizamat functions, military defense, police and judicial administration of the said provinces. Clive did not want to annex Awadh as this would have left the company with the responsibility of defeating a vast land frontier, vast land frontier from Afghan and Maratha invasions. The British East India Company established this the British East India Company established its prison in Uttar Pradesh in the late 18th century. In 1773, the Britishers defeated Marathas in Rohilkhand and expelled them from the Doab region. In 1774, Britishers defeated Rohil Sardar Rahmat Khan in Shah Jahanpur and Rohilkhand was handed over to the Nawab of Awadh. Asaf Uddala, son of Suza Uddala, shifted the capital from Faisabad to Lucknow in 1775 AD. Nawab of Awadh, Saadat Ali Khan II, accepted the subsidiary alliance system in November 1801. Lord Lake defeated the Marathas in 1803 and took control of Aligarh, Agra and Delhi. In May 1816, the Kingdom of Awadh became a British Protectorate Avad was annexed by Lord Dalhousie in 1856 on account of alleged misrule. Avad It was a province of Mughal Empire which included most of Uttar Pradesh. It was founded in 1722 by Saadat Ali Khan Burhan ul Mulk. He introduced a new land revenue and land lease system in Avad to protect farmers from exploitation of landlords. In 1739, Sabdar Jang, Abdul Mansur Mirza Muhammad Makim Ali Khan, Abdul Mansur Mirza Muhammad Mukim Ali Khan became the second Nawab of Awadh. Suza Uddala became the Nawab of Awadh in 1754. He, along with Mir Qasim of Bengal and the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II fought against British forces in the Battle of Buxar or Buxar in 1764. Further, he signed a Treaty of Banaras in 1773 with Warren Hastings. Warren Hastings. He died in 1775 and was buried at Gulab Bari in Fezabad. In Fezabad, Gulab Bari in Fezabad near Ayodhya. Asaf Uddala became Nawab of Awad after the death of Suza Uddala. He shifted his capital from Fezabad to Lucknow. He built Bara, Big Imam Bara, Rumi Darwaja, also known as Turkish Gate in Lucknow. He 
He died in 1797 and was buried at Bara Imam Bada, Bada Imam Bada, in Lucknow. Wazid Ali Shah was the tenth and the last Nawab of Awadh from 1847 to 56. During his reign, Awadh was annexed by Lord Dalhousie to the British state in 1856 on accusations of misrule. Awadh's territory was merged to form. the larger province of northwestern provinces and avadh it was renamed the united province of agra and avadh in 1902 civil uprising in uttar pradesh before 1857 revolt civil uprising in gorakhpur basti and bahrain 1781 war in hastings plan to earn money by in- inducting british officials as izaraddar izardars revenue cultivators in avadh to meet the expenses of the war against the marathas and mysore he appointed major alexander hane who secured izara of gorakhpur and bahrain for rupees 2 uh, for rupees 22 lakhs for one year hane's oppressive and excessive revenue demands terrorized the region In 1781 the zamindars and peasants revolted against the intolerable operation second is civil rebellion in our 1799 wazir ali khan wazir ali khan ascended the throne in september 1797 with the help of british but he was replaced by his uncle sadat ali khan second when his relations with the british became sore wazir ali khan killed the british resident wazir ali khan killed a british resident george frederick cherry wazir ali's guard killed two europeans and even attacked the magistrate of banaras the whole incident became famous as the massacre of banaras Wazir Ali assembled an army of several thousand men, which General Arskine defeated. Wazir Ali was extradited on the condition that he would not be hanged or put in chains. In December seventeen ninety nine, he was imprisoned at Fort William after surrendering. Third is disturbance in Bundelkhand, eighteen o eight to eighteen twelve. The Bundela chiefs offered resistance to the new government of the Presidency of Bengal. Lakshman Dava, the Kiladar Fort Commander of Ajaygarh Fort, was permitted to retain his fort as a temporary arrangement for two years, ending in eighteen o eight. Next resistance. from the killer of kalinzer next resistance from the killer of kalanjar darya singh was suppressed in january 1812 next resistance from the killer of kalanjar darya singh was suppressed in january 1812 gopal singh showed the most serious resistance against the britishers he had a dispute with his uncle who the british supported to stop these disturbances the british had to adopt a policy of binding down the hereditary chieftains of bundelkhand by a series of contractual obligations ikrar namaz ikrar namaz rising at bareilly 1816 the immediate cause of the uprising was the imposition of the police tax the issue became religious when Mufti Muhammad Awaz petitioned the town the town's magistrate in March 1816 several armed muslims from pilibhi sajhapur and rampur rebelled to defeat the faith and the the muftis to defend to defend the faith and mufti in april 1816 the insurgents murdered the son of the judge of the provincial court of bareilly lechester the uprising was suppressed with heavy deployment of military forces 
upsurge in Hathras 1817. The British had settled the princely state of Hathras with Dayaram, a talukdar of Aligarh district, as a farmer. But due to increasingly high revenue, Dayaram continually failed to pay dues and even committed several acts of hostilities by harboring government fugitives. Another noted rebel Bhagwant Das Bhagwant Singh Another noted rebel Bhagwant Singh Raja of Mursan fearing the destruction of his fort submitted to the government. Wahhabi movement It was an Islamic revivalist movement founded by Sayyid Ahmed of Rai Bareli. Sayyid Ahmed condemned the Western influence of Islam and advocated a return to pure Islam and society as it was in the Arabia of the Prophet's time. Its important center was Patna, though it had its mission in Hyderabad, Madras, Bengal, United Province and Bombay. After the defeat of the Sikh ruler and the incorporation of Punjab into the East India Company's dominion, in 1849, the English dominion in India became the sole target of the Wahhabis' attack. Revolt of 1857 in Uttar Pradesh Introduction Due to the hateful politics or policies of British imperial expansion and economic exploitation in India, public dissatisfaction with British rule was emerging in different sections of the society Immediate cause of the revolt, the British government decided to use the new infield rifle and under certain circumstances, beef and pork fat were mixed in these loops. This led Hindus and Muslim soldiers to believe that the government was deliberately trying to destroy their religion. Beginning and spread of the rebellion, on 26 February 1857, the soldiers of Bahrampur refused to use these cartridges. On April 24, 1857, 85 soldiers of Meerut Cantonment refused to use these cartridges. On 10 May 1857, the Indian Army stationed in Meerut mutinied, mutined, or mutiny. And on 11 May, the rebel army of Meerut reached Delhi, declared the Mughal Emperor Bahadur Shah Jafar was the Emperor of India and his leader took over Delhi. Soon the rebellion spread over a wide area from North India, Central India to Rajasthan in the West. There was limited spread of the rebellion in the South. The area most affected by the rebellion of 1857 was Awadh and Bundelkhand. In the rebellion of 1857, the rebel soldiers and landowners had established their governments at Aligarh, Bareilly, Lucknow, Kanpur, Allahabad, etc. The 1857 revolt was extended to small towns and towns like Itawa, Manpuri, Eta, Mathura, Sajahapur, Badayu, Ajamgarh, Sitapur, Lakhimpur, Khiri, Barabanki, Varanasi, Fazabad, Fatehpur, Hathras, etc. Itawa, Manpuri, Eta, Mathura, Sajahapur, Badayu, Ajamgarh, Sitapur, Lakhimpur, Khiri, Barabanki, Varanasi, Fajabad, Fatehpur, Hathras, Kanpur, etc. Begum Hazrat Mahal of Awadh led the rebellion in Lucknow. Begum made her son Bijris, Birjis, her son Birjis, Kadir Nawab of Awadh, Birjis Kadir Nawab of Awadh. Colin Campbell recaptured Lucknow on March 21st, 1858. In 1857, Nana Sahab had the right to administer the Kanpur Bithur administration. The great warrior Tatya Tope, original name Ram Chandra Pandurang of the rebellion of 1857 had threatened the British with his Ganimi Kawa tactics. Ganimi Kawa tactics guerrilla strategy. He was arrested on April 7, 1859, tried in the civil court of Sripuri and hanged on 18 April 1859. By June 1858, the rebellion in the United Province was 
wholly exhausted. On 1st November 1858, Lord Canning read the declaration of Queen's Victoria in Allahabad, incorporating the transfer of governance from the East India Company to the British Crown. To the British Crown, in 1858, the Delhi Division was separated from the northwestern part of the state, and the state's capital was shifted from Agra to Allahabad. In 1858, Uttar Pradesh was divided into two parts, Awadh and the Northwest Provinces, known as Agra and Awadh. The rulers of these provinces were called Chief Commissioner and Lieutenant Governor. Places of Revolt, Leader of Revolt and Suppressor of the Revolt Delhi, Bahadur Shah Jafar and Bakht Khan Suppressor, Nicholson, Nicholson. Kanpur Nana Sahib, Suppressor Colin Campbell, Lucknow Begum Hajrat Mahal, Birgis Kadir, Suppressor Colin Campbell, Jhansi Lakshmi Bai, Here Lay the Woman Who Was Only Man Among the Rebels, Hugh Rose, Hugh Rose, Who Said That for the Lakshmi Bai Jhansi, Suppressor Hugh Rose, Hugh Rose, Who Said here lay the woman who was the only man among the rebels, Hugh Rose, who was the suppressor at Jhansi, Lakshmi Bai. Ara Bihar Kumar Singh, Jagdishpur, suppressor Vincent Aire, Allahabad, Liaquat Ali, suppressor Colonel Neil, Bareli Khan Bahadur, suppressor Colin Campbell, Odisha, Surinder Sahi and Udyanta Sai, Surinder Sahi and Udyanta Sai. Suppressor, it is not mentioned here. Reason for failure of 1857 revolt, limited expansion of the rebellion, a strong military and artillery of the Britishers, lack of able leadership and plan of rebels, Lack of public support from all sections of society, non cooperation of native kings and feudal lords. Development of the nationalism in Uttar Pradesh after 1857 revolt. Radha Swami movement, started by Shiv Dayal Singh in 1861. The goal of the movement was true and perfect salvation, which can be attained only by practicing Surat Sabda Yoga. Surat Sabda Yoga Union of a Spirit with Sound Current Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan and the Aligarh Movement It aimed at spreading modern education among Indian Muslims without weakening their allegiance to Islam and social reforms among Muslims related to Parda, polygamy, widow remarriage, women's education, slavery, divorce, etc. Deoband movement or Darul Ulum, Deoband movement Darul Ulum, organized by the Orthodox section among the Muslim ulema as a revivalist movement with the twin objectives of propagating pure teachings of the Quran and Hadith among Muslim and keeping the spirit of jihad against foreign rulers alive. It was started at the Darul Ulum Deoband in Saharanpur district in 1866 by Muhammad Qasim Nanu Tavi and Rashid Ahmad Gangohi to train religious leaders for the Muslim community. Central Hindu school established by Eni Besant at Banaras in 1898. Later on, in 1916, it was further developed into Banaras Hindu University by Madan Mohan Malvi. Congress era and Uttar Pradesh The Indian National Congress was founded in 1885 by A.O. Humes. The first session of the Indian National Congress was held at Gokul Das Tejpal Sanskrit College in Bombay under the presidency of Vyom Chandra Banerjee, Vyomesh Chandra Banerjee, W.C. Banerjee. It was attended by 72 delegates in which 10 were from Uttar Pradesh. The second session was held in Calcutta and attended by 434 delegates in which 74 were from Uttar Pradesh. 
देर वर नाइन सेशंस ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस विच वर हेल्ड इन उत्तर प्रदेश फ्रॉम 1885 टू 1947 सेशन एंड एसोसिएटेड फैक्ट 1888 लोकेशन अलाहाबाद नौ प्रयागराज प्रेसिडेंट जॉर्ज यूले फर्स्ट इंग्लिश प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस जॉर्ज यूले 1892 लोकेशन अलाहाबाद प्रयागराज प्रेसिडेंट व्योमेश चंद्र बनर्जी कांग्रेस क्रिटिसाइज द इंडियन काउंसिल एक्ट ऑफ 1892 कांग्रेस क्रिटिसाइज द इंडियन काउंसिल एक्ट ऑफ 1892 1899 लोकेशन लखनऊ प्रेसिडेंट रमेश चंद्र दत्त 1905 लोकेशन वाराणसी प्रेसिडेंट गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले डिवीजन बिटवीन द मॉडरेट्स एंड द एक्सट्रीमिट्स 1910 लोकेशन इलाहाबाद प्रयागराज प्रेसिडेंट विलियम वेडरबर्न एट दिस टाइम द वीर दमोदा सावरकर वॉज जेल्ड टू अंडमान एंड निकोबार काला पानी नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन लोकेशन लखनऊ प्रेसिडेंट अंबिका चरण मजूमदार यूनिफिकेशन ऑफ द मॉडरेट्स एंड एक्सट्रीमेट्स विद इन द कांग्रेस बट ऑल्सो द क्लोजिंग ऑफ रैंक्स बिटवीन द कांग्रेस एंड द ऑल इंडिया मुस्लिम लीग द लीग ऑल्सो हेल्ड एट्स सेशन द लीग ऑल्सो हेल्ड इट्स सेशन इन द सेम सिटी लखनऊ दैट ईयर 1925 लोकेशन कानपुर प्रेसिडेंट सरोजनी नायडू सरोजनी नायडू बिकेम द सेकेंड वुमेन फर्स्ट इंडियन वुमेन टू प्रिसाइड ओवर द कांग्रेस आफ्टर एनी बेसेंट 1936 लोकेशन लखनऊ प्रेसिडेंट प्रेसिडेंट पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू 1946 लोकेशन मेरठ प्रेसिडेंट प्रेसिडेंट जे बी कृपलानी फर्स्ट अलाहाबाद सेकेंड अलाहाबाद थर्ड लखनऊ फोर्थ वाराणसी फिफ्थ अलाहाबाद सिक्स लखनऊ सेवेंथ कानपुर एट्थ लखनऊ नाइन्थ मेरठ द लखनऊ पैक्ट वॉज एन एग्रीमेंट रीच बिटवीन Indian National Congress and the Muslim League at a joint session of both the parties held in Lucknow in December 1916 through the pact the two parties agreed to allow representation to religious minorities in the provincial legislatures peasant movements in Uttar Pradesh peasant movement and associated fact Uttar Pradesh Kisan Sabha it was organized in 1918 by the efforts of the gauri sikan gauri shankar mishra indra narayan duvedi and madan mohan malviye avadh kisan sabha it was organized by baba ram chandra in 1920 in pratapgarh it challenged the exploitative zamindari system eka movement it was a peasant movement that started in lucknow and soon spread to hardoi sitapur and unnao district This movement started in November 1921 and lasted till April 1922. It was led by Madari Pasi. It was primarily a response to the exploitative talukdari system prevalent in Awadh. All India Kisan Sabha. It was formed in 1936 in Lucknow. Was with the objective of representing the interest of farmers. and agricultural labors across the country it was formed in 1936 in lucknow with the objective of representing the interest of farmers and agricultural laborers across the country all kisan all india kisan sabha it was headed by the swami sahajanand saraswati and the secretary was ng ranga secretary was ng ranga indulal yagnik indulal yagnik from lucknow was associated with this sabha important events in uttar pradesh khilafat movement the meeting of khilafat committee was held in allahabad on 20th june 1920 under the leadership of mahatma gandhi during the meeting the proposal of khilafat movement was passed according to mahatma gandhi it was an opportunity of uniting hindus and muslims that would not arise in the 100 years non cooperation movement the chauri chaura incident which took place in february 4th 1922 in chauri chaura in uttar pradesh was a significant turning point because the non cooperation movement which began as a peaceful demonstration against oppressive british policies 
turned violent when a group of protesters clashed with the police. The police responded by opening fire on the crowd, resulting in the death of the three protesters. In retaliation, the agitated mob set fire to a police station, killing 22 police officers. This act of violence went against the principles of the non-violence espoused by Mahatma Gandhi, who promptly called off the non-cooperation movement. Swatantrata Dal Swaraj Party was established by Motilal Nehru and Chitranjan Das in 1923 after the sudden withdrawal of the non-cooperation movement. After the death of the C.R. Das, a new party named Swatantra Dal or Swatantrata Dal was constituted by Madan Mohan Malvi and Lala Lajpat Rai. Revolutionary movements, Hindustan Republican Association or Army or HRA, later renamed the Hindustan Socialist Republic, the Hindustan so Socialist Republican Association or HSRA, was founded in October 1924 in Kanpur by Ram Prasad Bismil, Jogesh Chandra Chatterjee and Sachin Sanyal with an aim to organize an armed revolution to overthrow the colonial government and establish in its place the Federal Republic of United States of India, whose basic principle would be adult franchise. The most important action of the HRA was the Kakori robbery, 9th August 1925. The men held up the eight down train at Kakori and looted its official railway cash. Bismil, Ashfaqullah Khan, Roshan Singh and Rajendra Lahiri were hanged. Recently, the UP government renamed Kakori robbery as Kakori train action. Azad was involved in a bid to blow up Viceroy Irwin's train near Delhi in December 1929. During 1930, there were a series of violent actions in Punjab and towns of United Provinces. Azad died in a police encounter in a park in Allahabad in February 1931 in Alfred Park. Now it is named as Chansekhar Ajat Park. Merit Conspiracy Case 1929 In March 1929, the, the government arrested 31 labor leaders 31 labor leaders and the three and a half year trial and the three and a half year trial that is 3.5 year trial resulted in a conviction of Muzaffar Ahmad Asse Dange Joglekar Philip Spratt Philip Spratt Ben Bradley Saukat Usmani and others In March 29 the government arrested 31 labor leaders and the three and a half year trial resulted in Conviction of Muzaffar Ahmad, Asse Dange, Joglekar, Philip Spread, Ben Bradley, Saukat Usmani, and others. Civil Disobedience Movement It was launched by Mahatma Gandhi on 6th April 1930 after the historic Dandi March with the objective of achieving complete independence in Uttar Pradesh. A no revenue campaign was organized in which a call was given to Zamidars to refuse to pay revenue to the government. The activity picked up speed in October 1930, especially in Agra and Raibareli. In 1930, a tax refusal movement was started by Jawaharlal Nehru together with J.P. Narayan and Lal Bahadur Shastri in Allahabad. 1930, a tax refusal movement was started by Nehru and together with J.P. Narayan and Lal Bahadur Shastri in Allahabad. During the civil disobedience movement, prominent leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru, Govind Balakpand, Purushottam Das Tandon, and Acharya Narendra Dev played significant roles in organizing and leading the movement in Uttar Pradesh, Quit India Movement. The proposal of the Quit India Movement was passed on 8th August 1942. One of the first sparks of the Quit India Movement came from the village of Dhanpur or Dhanapur, now in the Chandoli district near Varanasi, where several people reached the local police station to host the to host the 
national flag the police opened fire at the crowd which led the gathered people to retaliate a parallel government was formed in balia for a week in august 1942 under the leaders of under the leadership of chittu pande chittu pande persuaded the collector to hand over power and release all the arrested congress leaders the parallel government did not last long and when the troops arrived a week later they found that the leaders had fled education system in uttar pradesh during british rule allahabad university founded 1887 banaras hindu university bhu established in 1916 and founded in 1898 by any basent and established in 1960 by madan mohan malvi lucknow university founded in 1921 nizamuddin aulia born in badayu in 1236 and belong to the chishti order of sufism historical personalities of uttar pradesh he was the disciple of baba farid sufi san fariduddin ganj shakar ganj shakar ganj shakar ganj shakar nizamuddin aulia born in badayu 1236 and belong to chishti order of sufism डिसिपल ऑफ बाबा फरीद सूफी सैन फरीदुद्दीन गंज शेखर अमीर खुसरो रियल नेम अब्दुल हसन यामीन उद्दीन खुसरो बॉर्न इन 1253 इन पटियाली कासगंज ही वॉज द डिसिपल ऑफ निज़ामुद्दीन ओलिया एंड हैड सीन द राइन ऑफ एट डेली सुल्तान्स एंड हैव सीन द राइन ऑफ एट डेली सुल्तान्स पॉपुलरली कॉल्ड एज तूती ए हिंद तूती ए हिंद फादर ऑफ कव्वाली फादर ऑफ उर्दू लिटरेचर एंड द फादर ऑफ खड़ी बोली ही डेवलप्ड ख्याल गायकी इम्पोर्टेंट कंपोजिशन विष्णु सिफिर नुह सिफिर खजायन उल फुतुह खजायन उल फुतुह तुगलक नामा जियाउद्दीन बरानी जियाउद्दीन बरानी Born in 1885 in Bulandshahar district, political thinker and historian during Muhammad bin Tughlaq and Feroz Shah Tughlaq, important composition, Tarikh e Feroz Shahi, Fatwa e Jahandari, Kabir, birthplace Varanasi. He was disciple of Bhakti poet Saint Swami Ramanand. Important composition, Kabir Bijak, Kabir Parchai. साखी ग्रंथ साखी ग्रंथ कबीर ग्रंथावली बीरबल बर्थ एटीन सॉरी बीरबल बर्थ फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी एट एट कालपी इन जालौन डिस्ट्रिक्ट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी एट कालपी जालौन रियल नेम महेश दास ही वॉज वन ऑफ द नाइन ज्वेल्स ऑफ नवरत्नाज ऑफ द एम्पर अकबर फर्स्ट मैन टू एडॉप्ट दीन इलाही द रिलीजन फाउंडेड बाई अकबर Surdas he was blind hindu devotional poet and singer one of his best composition include sur sagar sheikh fazi birth 1547 in agra he was the elder brother of abul fazal and one of the nine jewels of akbar's court abul fazal birth 1551 ad in agra he led the south expedition of akbar important composition akbar nama ayne akbari todamal birth laharpur village in sitapur district he was one of the nine jewels in akbar's court he was the finance minister of akbar who developed the land revenue system and dahshala dahshala system land revenue system and dahshala system tulsi das birth kasganj in uttar pradesh He was the Hindu Vaishnava saint, poet, and philosopher known as known for his devotion to the Lord Ram. Author of the Ramchandra Manas composition, Doha Vali, Sahitya Ratna, Gita Vali, Vinayak Patrika, and Krishna Vali. Doha Vali, Sahitya Ratna, Gita Vali, Vinayak Patrika, Krishna Vali. Freedom fighters of Uttar Pradesh, Rani Lakshmi Bai. She was born. 
टू अ महाराष्ट्रियन फैमिली एट काशी नाव वाराणसी ऑन नाइन्थ ऑन नाइनटीन्थ नवंबर एटीन ट्वेंटी एट हर चाइल्ड हुड नेम वॉज मनी कर्णिका इन एटीन फोर्टी टू शी गॉट मेरिड टू द महाराजा ऑफ झांसी राजा गंगाधर राव एंड शी वॉज गिविन द नेम लक्ष्मी बाई सर ह्यूग रूज वॉज अपॉइंटेड बाई द ब्रिटिश टू कैप्चर रानी लक्ष्मी बाई अलाइव रानी लक्ष्मी बाई डाइड ऑन जून एटीन एटीन फिफ्टी एट ड्यूरिंग द बैटल ऑफ ड्यूरिंग अ बैटल एट ग्वालियर वेयर शी फॉट वैलियंटली अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश आर्मी मंगल पांडे मंगल पांडे आर रेजिडेंस ऑफ बलिया इन उत्तर प्रदेश नाइनटीन जुलाई एटीन ट्वेंटी सेवन वॉज अ सोल्जर इन द आर्मी ऑफ ब्रिटिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाई द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इज कम पैट्रियोट्स इन बहरामपुर बहरामपुर मंगल पांडे रिफ्यूज टू यूज द ग्रीज द कार्ट्रिजेस ही ब्रोक इन टू ओपन म्यूटिनी ऑन मार्च ट्वेंटी नाइन एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन एट बैरकपुर नियर कैलकटा एंड यूज हिज कॉम्रेज टू ज्वाइन हिम ही वॉज कोर्ट मार्शल ऑन अप्रैल सिक्स एंड हैंगड एट बैरकपुर ऑन अप्रैल एट एटीन भक्त खान भक्त खान भक्त खान ही वॉज बॉर्न इन सेवनटीन नाइन्टी सेवन इन द रीजन ऑफ द उत्तर प्रदेश रोहिल खंड इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ बिजनौर लेटर इन द आर्मी ऑफ ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी ही बिकेम अ सूबेदार रिफर टू एज द चीफ नेटिव कमांडिंग ऑफिसर सूबेदार भक्त खान वॉज फेमस अमंग ब्रिटिश ऑफिसर्स बिफोर ही टर्न अ रिबिल ही प्रोवाइडेड लीडरशिप इन डेली इन द फर्स्ट वार ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस ही वॉज वेड बाई द ब्रिटिशर्स or the british during the rebellion and breathed his last in the tarai place of nepal in 1859 begum hazrat mahal begum hazrat mahal was born begum hazrat mahal was one of the most influential women leaders during the first war of independence who operated from lucknow in uttar pradesh After the recapture of the Lucknow by the British in March 1858 she was compelled to escape from Nepal she was compelled to escape towards Nepal along with other leaders of the revolutionary movement Begum Hazrat Mahal was at the front line of the war of independence from the beginning and assumed the leadership of the uprising in our on behalf of her minor son Birjis Kadir Malvi Liaquat Ali Malvi Liaquat Ali 1817 to 1892 was born in Tehsil and Pargana Chal of Mahgaon Chal of Pargana Chal of Mahgaon a few miles away from Allahabad renamed as Prayagraj in the house of Sayyid Meher Ali and Amina Bibi he and his followers successfully launched anti british operation at Sandi Belgram and Pali of district Hardoi in 1872 Malvi was arrested at Bombay railway station by a british police officer Stile who was pre-informed by Malvi's two old men in the judgment of 24 July 1872 he was sentenced to transportation for life to the penal settlement of andamans rao kadam singh rao kadam singh he was a leader of a minor group of gurjars who fought against the british east india company during the indian rebellion of 1857 he is popul- popularly known as the raja of parikshit gad raja of parikshit gad and mawana in meerat district राम प्रसाद बिस्मिल सरफरोशी की तमन्ना अब हमारे दिल में है देखना है जोर कितना बाजुए कातिल में है इन कविताओं के साथ राम प्रसाद बिस्मिल वॉज एन इंडियन रिवोल्यूशनरी एंड फ्रीडम फाइटर बॉर्न ऑन जून 11, 1897 इन शाहजहाँपुर उत्तर प्रदेश ही वॉज वन ऑफ द लीडर्स ऑफ द हिंदुस्तान रिपब्लिकन एसोसिएशन एच एंड इज़ नोन फॉर हिज इन्वॉलमेंट इन द काकोरी ट्रेन रॉबरी इन नाइनटीन He was hanged on December 19, 1927, in Gorakhpur jail. Chandrasekhar Azad. He was born in Bhabra, Madhya Pradesh. 
but spent most of his time in Uttar Pradesh. Azad was a member of the Hindustan Socialist Republican Association (HSRA), a revolutionary organization formed in 1928 to overthrow British rule in India. Azad was involved in the Kakori train robbery in of 1925 which was a major blow to british colonial rule he was finally cornered by the police in alfred park in allahabad on february 27 1931 ashfaqullah khan ashfaqullah khan was born on october 22 1900 in shahjahanpur uttar pradesh khan was a key member of the hra and was a part of the kakori conspiracy a train robbery by the hra in 1925 khan was hanged on december 19 1927 in fazabad jail acharya narendra dev acharya narendra dev 1889 to 1956 was born on 30th october 1889 in sitapur in present day uttar pradesh he quit law and started teaching at the kashi vidyapeeth where he got the title acharya the revolutionary ideas of congress leaders such as bal gangadhar tilak and shri arbindo deeply influenced acharya narendra dev he was associated with the home rule league and became a member of the provincial congress he actively participated in the demonstrations against the simon commission and the civil disobedience movement acharya narendra dev was instrumental in the establishment of the congress socialist party in 1934 as a radical faction working within the indian national congress maulana hasrat mohani maulana hasrat mohani was born on 1st january 1875 in kasba mohan of unnao district in uttar pradesh after completing his initial studies he was admitted to the legal muslim university hasrat mohani started bringing out a magazine in the name of urdu a maula urdu a maula he was one of the active members of congress he remained associated with congress till the year 1907 According to a few historians Maulana Hasrat Mohani wrote the slogan Inqilab Zindabad in 1921 Maulana Maulana Hasrat Mohani sacrificed his life for the country till his last breath on 13th May 1951 in Lucknow Hasrat Mohani breathed his last Chittu Pandey born in Rattu Chak born in Rattu Chak A village in the Balia district of Uttar Pradesh, Chittu Pandey, 10th May 1895 to 6th December 1946, was popularly called the Sher-e Balia, the Sher-e Balia, Lion of Balia. A distinguished independence activist, he led the Quit India movement in Balia, described as the Tiger of Balia by Jawaharlal Nehru and Subhash Chandra Bose. He headed. the national government declared and established on 19th august 1942 for a few days before was suppressed by the british the parallel government succeeded in getting the collector to hand over power and release all the arrest congress leaders this government did not last long during the intervening night of 12 to 23 august british military forces entered balia and overthrew the popular government raja mahindra pratap he was born to the princely jhat family of the state of mursan in the hathras district of uttar pradesh on december 1 1886 he was the president of the first provincial government of india swami sahajanand saraswati swami sahajanand saraswati 1889 to 1950 was born in gazipur of the uttar pradesh he was brilliant as a young student renouncing his home and family and adopting the way of ascetism he moved to varanasi where he devoted 9 years to studying sanskrit and hindu philosophy he played a prominent role in organizing the non cooperation movement in the shahabad district of bihar and the adjoining district of ghazipur in uttar pradesh while advocating the abolition of the zamindari system and the creation of the peasant proprietorship as the central slogan of agrarian reform he took up 
the burning issues of feudal operations such as forced labor, illegal exactions, evictions, etc. Forced labor, illegal exactions, evictions, etc. for organizing Kisan resistance and struggle. He formed the All India Kisan Sabha at Lucknow 1936. He was also a forceful writer and ran the Hindi weekly Hunkar from Patna. Next is Pursottam Das Tandon, born in 1st August 1882 in Allahabad. He started practicing as the lawyer in Allahabad High Court in 1908 under Tej Bahadur Sapru. He played an active role in the non-cooperation movement and salt. Satyagraha. He served as the president of Bihar Provincial Kisan Sabha in 1934. He served as the president of Bihar Provincial Kisan Sabha in 1934, also known as U.P. Gandhi, Uttar Pradesh Gandhi. He was honored by Bharat Ratna in 1961. Maulana Sokat Ali. Sokat Ali was born in 1873 in Rampur. He was an Indian Muslim leader of the Khilafat movement that Erupted in response to the fall of the Ottoman Empire. He served as a member of the Central Assembly in British India from 1934 to 1938, Maulana Sokat Ali. Sayyid Ahmad Khan. Sayyid Ahmad Khan was born into the respectable Muslim family. He was a loyalist member of the judicial service of the British government. After retirement in 1876, he joined the Imperial Legislative Council in 1878. He earned a knighthood in 1888. He wanted to reconcile Western scientific education with the teachings of the Quran, which were to be interpreted in the light of contemporary rationalism and science, even though he also had the Quran as the ultimate authority. He started the Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College, later the Aligarh Muslim University, at Aligarh in 1875. He also struggled to improve women's position through better education and by opposing parda and polygamy, advocating easy divorce and condemning the system of piri and muridi. Piri and muridi. Condemning the system of piri and muridi. He also preached the basic commonality, commonality of Hindu and Muslim interest. Govind Ballapand. Govind Ballapand was born on 10 September 1887 in Khunt, village near Almoda, in the Karhade Brahmin family. Karhade Brahmin family. Pant studied the Allahabad University and subsequently worked as a lawyer of Kashipur. In 1921, he entered into politics and was elected to the Legislative Assembly of the United Province of Agra and Avad. Known as the competent lawyer, Pant was appointed by the Congress party to initially represent Ram Prasad Bismil, Aswakullah Khan and other revolutionaries involved in the Kakori case in the mid-1920s. In 1940, Pant was arrested and imprisoned for helping the Satyagraha movement. In 1942, he was arrested again for signing the Quit India Resolution. Among his achievements in that position, he was abolition. In that position was the abolition of the zamindari system. Among his achievements in that position was the abolition of the zamindari system. Also, he passed the Hindu Code Bill, made monogamy compulsory for Hindu men, and gave Hindu women the right of divorce and inheritance to ancestral property. He served as the Union Home Minister from 1955 to 1961. As Home Minister, his chief achievement was reorganizing states along linguistic lines. He, also, he was also responsible for establishing Hindi as the official language to the central government and a few states. Pant was awarded the Bharat Ratna on 26 January 1957 during, the time, during this time. Ram Manohar Lohia. Ram Manohar Lohia was born on 23rd March 1910 in Akbarpur, currently part of the Uttar Pradesh, India. Returning to India in 1932, Lohia plugged, Lohia plunged 
हैंड लॉन्ग हैड लॉन्ग इन टू द फ्रीडम मूवमेंट इन रिस्पॉन्स टू गांधी जीज कॉल फॉर सत्याग्रह फॉर और सिविल डिसोबीडियंस रिटर्निंग टू इंडिया इन नाइनटीन थर्टी टू लोहिया प्लम्ड हैड लॉन्ग इन टू द फ्रीडम मूवमेंट इन रिस्पॉन्स टू गांधी जीज कॉल फॉर सत्याग्रह और सिविल डिसोबीडियंस इम प्रजेंट फॉर द फॉर इज पार्टिसिपेशन इन द नासिक रोड जेल एंड विद इन कांग्रेस दे फॉर्म अ यूथ विंग कॉल्ड कांग्रेस सोशलिस्ट पार्टी जवाहरलाल नेहरू बॉर्न इन अलाहाबाद फोर्टीन नवंबर एटीन एटी नाइन नेहरू वॉज द फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया ही वॉज वन ऑफ द फोर रनर्स इन द इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंट मूवमेंट एज अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही सर्व फॉर सेवनटीन ईयर्स अंटिल ही डाइड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फोर His birthday on fourteen November is celebrated as Children's Day. Earlier, he received the Bharat Ratna in nineteen fifty five. Pandit Madan Mohan Malvi, Madan Mohan Malvi, born on twenty fifth December eighteen sixty seven in Prayagraj, Allahabad. He was elected to the Legislative Council of the United Province in nineteen o two. He founded Banaras Hindu University. At Varanasi in 1916, Mahatma Gandhi gave him the title of Mahamana Madan Mohan Malvi, Pandit Madan Mohan Malvi. Mahatma Gandhi gave him the title of Mahamana. He was posthumously conferred with Bharat Ratna in 2015. Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi, born in 1890 in Allahabad, present-day Prayagraj district of Uttar Pradesh, he was a well-known face of the non-cooperation movement. He was a journalist by profession and the founder editor of the Hindi language newspaper Pratap. Newspaper Pratap. Lal Bahadur Shastri. Lal Bahadur Shastri was the second prime minister of India, serving from nineteen sixty four to nineteen sixty six. He was born on twenty. He was born on second October nineteen o four in Mughal Sarai, Uttar Pradesh. Birth date is October second nineteen. 1904, ओ फोर मुगल सराय उत्तर प्रदेश शास्त्री एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस मूवमेंट ज्वाइनिंग द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस ऑन द नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ही सर्व एज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ रेलवेज एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट इन नेहरू गवर्नमेंट शास्त्री इज द बेस्ट नोन फॉर हिज स्लोगन जय जवान जय किसान हेल द सोल्जर हेल द फार्मर विच ही क्वाइंग टू इंस्पायर एंड मोटिवेट द इंडियन पीपल डूरिंग द इंडो पार्क वॉर of 1965 and to emphasize the importance of self sufficiency in agriculture he signed the taskin declaration in 1966 which marked the end of the 1965 war between the india and pakistan sasri died on january 11 1966 in taskin uzbekistan shortly after signing the taskin declaration october 2nd is celebrated as lal bahadur sastri jayanti in india After that, we will discuss the art and culture of Uttar Pradesh, Buddhist architecture, then temple architecture in Uttar Pradesh, then Indo-Islamic architecture in Uttar Pradesh, then colonial. After that, Mathura School of Art, paintings in Uttar Pradesh, crafts in Uttar Pradesh, museums of Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh State Archives, Archaeology of Uttar Pradesh, Protected Monuments in Uttar Pradesh. Thank you very much.